We saw a total of seven NBA players go down with an Achilles tendon rupture this year, a staggering 350% increase from the historical average. Let's break this down. Starting with the data and epidemiology. All seven of this year's injuries had the same exact mechanism occurring during a false step, aka backward step. This is a reactive movement athletes use to accelerate quickly from a stationary or neutral stance. It forces the ankle into rapid, deep dorsiflexion as seen here. Interesting enough, nearly all of basketball-related Achilles tendon ruptures occur with this mechanism. During these false steps, data suggests that if the angle between the tibia and the foot is any smaller than 48 degrees, there's a strong association with a heightened risk of Achilles injury. NBA data also shows that Achilles ruptures were occurring approximately 1.36 times per year between 1990 to last year, with no year having more than three of these injuries. Flash forward to this year, we had seven. That's a 350% increase from the historical average. One of the largest US studies on Achilles ruptures using emergency room data found that basketball causes around 46 7% of all Achilles injuries in athletes under 60, and it also showed a statistically significant 39% rise in ruptures over just four years, echoing previous studies that showed a similar trend. So if these injuries are occurring almost entirely via one mechanism at a much higher rate in basketball than any other sport, what's causing them and how can they be prevented? We've read your comments and your submissions. Stay tuned for part two later this week.